and I am officially exhausted. I think this is gonna be bad. I'm nervous to see the casualties. Oh, do I have a story for you. <laughs> It's move-in day, and apparently movers are gonna be here in 10 minutes, and I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I had a interesting night last night. I just tried to use a different brow gel to go faster. It was not, it was not a good idea. Yesterday, I had quite the evening. If y'all don't know, amongst my many fun little diseases and syndromes, uh, one of them is called EDS, Ehlers Danlos Syndrome. I don't have it. Some people have it very severe to where they're literally in wheelchairs. I don't have it that severe. Um, I just, you know, dislocate my shoulders. I mean, my joints slip a lot. They slip out of place a lot, especially my shoulders, but I've never had my shoulder get stuck out of place ever. Normally it, it dislocates and my like reaction is to just grab it and pull it back in immediately before I can ever even think about it. And that's been my whole life and it hurts, but it's fine. Last night I was standing on the desk upstairs, screwing back in the light on that brown wall. And I was screwing in the light and then I go to get the other screw and the light starts to fall. So I panic and I throw my arm up to stop the light. Something about that motion, I literally just throw my arm completely out of socket, just by reaching. I just throw my arm out of socket, my arm's out of socket with my, with my hand in the air. And I freak out, I fall off the desk. I'm rolling around on the floor, screaming, trying to figure out how to get my arm back into socket. Max comes up, doesn't know what's going on, is like licking my face. I'm not getting my arm back in socket. I try FaceTiming Jordy to figure out what the heck to do. He's on stage sound checking for Ben. I'm sobbing and I finally roll a certain way on the ground where I push my arm back into socket, finally. I had big plans for all the things I wanted to accomplish, but I just had to like Tylenol ice lay on the couch. And today I have some motion like all of this feels fine, but if I try to lift my arm above this, it does hurt or backwards does hurt. And I know I'm not supposed to really move it, but today's the move day. So like, what's a girl supposed to do? <laughs> I wanted to have more time to catch up with y'all, but they're literally now gonna be here in five minutes and I need to put on clothes. I'm gonna put Max in the guest house um, so that he can't get out. Oh, I should move my car too. Okay, I'm thinking of all these tasks that I should do in the next five minutes. Move day, we got this, let's go. They're currently unloading all the things fully wrapped and I had to deconstruct the bed upstairs. Literally every single slot had to be unscrewed. I feel so bad, but it wouldn't fit up the stairs. So that's the headboard. That's the bed frame. I know that's my bedside table. Those are the stone travertine tables. Outdoor, ooh, that looks broken. I feel like that's broken. Mr. Tovala didn't quite survive. This chair is for sure gonna be broken when it's unwrapped. That's broken. They didn't wrap my table base and it's like so scuffed up. Oh, I think this is gonna be bad when it's all unwrapped. I'm nervous to see the casualties. Here comes all the boxes. A lot more to come. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit helpless and overwhelmed knowing that a lot of these I won't be able to like move out of the way. I'll probably open them in here and just take things out one by one in weights that I can lift and slowly do things that way. Instead of like taking my office box up to my office to unpack it, I'll probably unpack it one by one here and do a lot of trips. So I think this is all of my hanging clothes. No, I have more jeans for sure. There has to be one other box somewhere that I need to find, but it's, I actually have a funny story. I had packed up all of my clothes in Austin and then I looked at the boxes and I was like, I don't want to move all that. So I literally unpacked all the boxes and sorted it and gave a ton to Davina to sell on Poshmark eventually. So follow my Poshmark, we'll see when she posts it. So then I literally cut my clothes down by like half to move here so it's not as much there has to be one other box because like i definitely have more jeans than that for sure 
There has to be. And then there's all of this, like, folded stuff for my dresser, like pajamas and workout clothes and things like that. So once the dresser is up, I'll show you. Dresser is waiting to be unwrapped. So once that is up, I can unload those. Well, movers just left. There's a zillion things broken. I'm just gonna share the whole experience. I'm just gonna, this is the thing, is like I think a lot of times content creators don't give super honest reviews of things because they don't wanna seem like they're complaining about a first world problem. But this was like exceptionally bad, <laughs> especially when you're paying $3,000 for someone to do a service for you. Let me show you the broken things and then I'll explain the situation that happened from the start to the end because it's all just very interesting. My table is broken in a lot of different spots and they didn't wrap it. So it's so banged up and then they lost the screws to put it back together. This one's not a big deal, but it is to me. Mr. Tovala got pretty beat up. and no, this is the new one. I love him. <laughs> Clearly some bad damage happened to my travertine tables. There's stone on the, oh yeah that happened as well but my tables got absolutely wrecked like so many pieces are gone from it from all parts and then lost one of these guys this broke too bad for the leg the leg it's gone so here's the full story time I was looking for moving companies and was getting some quotes and this one moving company was so nice like the people this is the thing all the people are so friendly and she she quoted me $2,200 which was a lot less than the other companies and she was like we specialize from Texas to California because we're in Las Vegas so right between the two and we do that move a lot she gave me a great pitch she was like we're female owned so we really care about like our employees everybody is required to train on the road for six months before we can hire them they're thoroughly background checked they're drug screened they're everything so that there's not strangers coming into your home we don't ever mix your your stuff with other people's stuff so that you know it doesn't get confusing and it reduces damage because you don't have to move it in and out of big trucks there's going to be a two-day delivery pickup and a five-day delivery window and like we'll let you know exactly when those days are like all these different things and i was like honestly this is great, let's do it. And I got this pit in my stomach. I was like, it feels a little too good to be true, but like, ah, let's try it. So I started reading reviews and nobody has good experiences with moving companies ever. But the reviews were like, they showed up, they loaded the truck, and then they told me that it was too much stuff and then they doubled my price. Some people were like, it went from $5,000 to $10,000, like big moves. And so I got really nervous. So I called them and I was like, hey, I just wanna make sure that that doesn't happen to me. So like, can we be so thorough with every single inventory item? And they were like, yes. And I was like, okay, exactly this many small boxes, this many medium boxes. I even was like, there's like a, an exercise ball, like every single little thing. There's a faux plant. There's one lamp that I can't quite fit in a box, every single little thing. And then they raised my price $600, which is fine. At least I knew to $2,800. Then no communication about pickup time at all. This was cut out of the vlog, but they kept just like, I kept having to call them be like, any update guys, when are you gonna come pick up? And finally they said, we wanna change your pickup date. And I was like, I don't wanna wait around for y'all anymore. My apartment is all packed up. Can I just hire somebody to be at my apartment on my behalf whenever that time is? They were like, sure. So I ended up hiring Davina. They chose a day and Davina had to go to work at 2 p.m. And they first told me they would do 8 a.m. And I was like, okay, well she has to, she has to go to work at 2 p.m. They were like, no problem. They didn't show up till 1 p.m. She had to go to work at two. And so then they were there unattended for three hours and just locked up themselves. Davina went back and found out that they had left some things like my faux olive tree that I had explicitly listed in the inventory, which was brand new and $300. <laughs> and I was like, you know, whatever, it just comes with it. They call me once the truck is loaded up and they say, there's so much more than we thought. It's actually $3,900. And I was driving at this point, I pulled over and I was like, I saw so many reviews that this would happen. So I called and explicitly said, hey, I saw these reviews. I don't want this to happen to me. And they assured me that it wouldn't, but it did. And they're like, well, the truck's already loaded. What do you want us to do? And I was like, well, can I call the office and talk to them before I sign? And they're like, yes, but we can't pull away until you sign. And I was like, okay. So I pull over on my drive. I call the office over and over and over and over. And the guy just ghosts me. He just completely ghosts me. And I was like, I guess I got a sign because these guys are just waiting there. So I sign, whatever. And then, <laughs> no idea what the pick, what the drop-off day is. I keep calling them and then they finally tell me when the drop-off day is. 
and um, everything arrives, not everything, but a lot of things arrive broken. The delivery guy's like, ooh, yeah, you should you should file a claim because like the guys that loaded this did a really bad job. You should figure out how to file a claim. And so I'm telling Jordy all of this. Let me see if I forgot anything. I texted Jordy a list of all the things that went wrong. Oh, little things too about the first floor for free. They show up and they're like, oh no, you get 12 steps for free. That's an extra charge. The mover that shows up today, there's the guy that drives the truck and a guy shows up on a scooter, like an actual like push, like razor scooter. He's like, uh, I think uh, I think that's the mover. And I was like, are you with the movers? He was like, yeah. I was like, did you guys not come together? He goes, nope. And I was like, did they just like contract you out? And he goes, there was a Craigslist ad last night that I responded to. And this lady tells me that these guys trained for six months on the road, are background tested, are drug tested. Are... This guy just responded to a Craigslist ad last night to move. Anyways, what else did I forget? Oh, they damaged our stairs. I forgot to show you all that. Like pretty bad. Anyways, Jordy's like, I got this. I'm gonna call because he knows I hate being confrontational. And I was like, great. Oh, he's calling back. He calls the guy. The guy hangs up on him. I'm gonna get an update. <laughs> okay, sorry, literally an hour later. Um, we talked to other customer service people and there's basically nothing we can do except for file claims. And we'll see how much they reimburse me. I think the typical policy is 60 cents per pound, which is nothing. But they said the things that are left behind, they'll go ahead and prove those claims. We'll basically see. I feel bad for complaining and for calling out a specific company, but also it was just like, it was like one or two or three or four or five little mistakes, it'd be different. It was kind of manipulative, like the hanging up and the ghosting. It's all right. My plan, I thankfully have nothing going on tonight. It's only 1.30. My plan is to just kind of leisurely unpack as much as I possibly can, get as many boxes out of the way as possible so it feels a little bit more livable in here. Of course, delicately, cautiously. Um, also, just a funny side thing. I've never had, well, I mean, of course, I've never had a house before, but um, don't know anything about keeping pools up. This is actually a saltwater pool and I was raised with a saltwater pool, funnily enough. My dad would work on it all the time, but look at the difference. Something's very wrong with the hot tub. I'm gonna show you the difference in watercolor between the hot tub and the pool. The pool guy's coming today to help us fix it, but it's pretty hilarious and a little disgusting. Normal pool water, hot tub. Oh no, why is it so green? Look at that difference. That's so bad. So. Hopefully he comes soon. This is a learn as we go kind of situation, but um, I need to put a new battery in this camera, put in some earphones. Ooh, okay, I can finally unpack the dresser actually. Okay, so the thing I'm debating, do I center this the same as the bed, which would cover part of the window, which would look weird with my mirror on top of it? Or do I center this on the wall, be okay with it not being centered on the bed, and then I could put something in this corner. Maybe even one of the armchairs could be kind of cool. Um, initially I was going to put the faux olive tree here. <laughs> May she rest in peace, but that, that'll be something to figure out. But I can start unloading my dresser, which is really nice. Maybe I do that first. been a bit um are you ready for a little bit of a jump scare here's where i'm at currently oh my gosh <laughs> this is what i'm trying to do let me let me talk you through my game plan here also the pool guy's here he's like what happened <laughs> i'm gonna start with the kitchen I'm gonna get that in order because this week i have to film a pretty big ad this is something i've mentioned before on my channel but something i do outside of YouTube for income as I'll occasionally film ads for brands for them to use elsewhere. I, if you guys are new here, I was a professional actor for 10 years, mostly commercial work. So it's kind of fun because it's like the whole self-made content at home, kind of like YouTube, but also like we have a pre-production meeting and we go through the shot list and everything like that. And it, I can pull what I know from being on set, which is kind of nice. But anyways, all that to say, I'm filming an ad this week in my kitchen. And it's gonna be like ESPN, Hulu, like big spots. So I would like the kitchen to be organized and in order because that's gonna be run for a whole year. So 
my goal is to really start with that um, and I just frankly don't know exactly how much storage is realistically in all these drawers and on these shelves. I really try to say the V these days. My thought was I'll pull everything out and put it on the counters first. And then I can kind of assess like what's the what do I use the most and put that in the most accessible places instead of just like putting things anywhere and then like, oh shoot, there's no more spots for pots and pans and essential things, you know what I mean? My other thought is there's storage under this island which is not gonna be super accessible once the bar stools are there. And it's also pretty shallow, but I figure that could be a lot of the hosting things because I won't use that as much. So, you know, like the like the cloth napkins that I use to wrap everything. So I should probably wash them because they're quite wrinkly now. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm thinking like cooking utensils here because it's closest to the stove. This is gonna be spices, oops. And then over here, cutlery and other things, knives, things of the sort. And over here, less frequently used utensils. So that's where, that's as far as I've gotten so far. Obviously I'd like for these to be as like functional as possible and hold as many things as possible, but I also want it to be aesthetically beautiful because it's gonna be in the background of everything that I do and also just like so visual. So spacing things out a lot and like using a plant here or there, some cookbooks or whatever to style it later is the goal. Also, we have the wet bar. So some wine glasses and such can go over there. Um, so yeah, I just have everything out now. I can at least see everything that will be kitchen supplies and I can start putting things randomly into drawers and on cabinets. All right, back to it. a little distracted because I opened a box and I found hangers and so I just finished organizing the closet and I took a pause on the kitchen it's looking better I just eventually want to open some of the decor boxes to find the cookbooks and such to be able to figure out how to style things another thing I did is I know I told you all eventually I want to find like a hutch for in here but for now I've moved this in here um, this used to be storage in my apartment for all of my camera gear so eventually I would like to put this in my office closet, but for now we really need bathroom storage. So that might be the next thing. I might just move on to that task of unpacking some bathroom stuff before going back to the kitchen because I'm feeling a little burned out on the kitchen. <laughs> Not gonna lie. We're at uh, 5 p.m. now, 5, 19. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five. I'm on hour nine. Keep on keeping on. Well guys, it's now officially dark outside. And I haven't started my actual work for the day yet. And so what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna give myself one more hour to tidy up a bit more and then I just have to allow myself to leave the rest for tomorrow. Duh, of course, I couldn't do it all in one day. I don't know why I am the way I am where I'm like, I can't stop until it's done. Um, that's called being an Enneagram three, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set you where you can see the most amount of mess, probably right here. Okay, I'm gonna come back in 50 minutes and we're gonna see how much progress i make ready Ta-da! it's better it's definitely better i have this pile of boxes i have this pile of boxes and which is only just a few and then i have a few in my closet as well that are all closet things and i am officially exhausted i'm gonna start my computer work <laughs> and heat up some microwave soup, probably. See you guys in the morning, off to work. Happy Saturday morning. I got nine hours of sleep. I'm feeling a new sense of motivation and energy. My shoulder is feeling a lot better this morning, a lot less sore and tender, which is great. And I'm just, I'm excited to see how much I get done. I'm just gonna be working until like maybe four. Um, tonight I'm gonna go to a neighborhood party meet all the neighbors. That journey here is a little intimidating, but gonna go represent the both of us. 
but I'm only gonna go for probably like an hour because then from there I'm going with some friends to one of our favorite coffee shops in Encinitas, it's called Necessity. It is having a movie night tonight. They're screening Hocus Pocus, which I've never seen. So I'm also gonna kind of use that as a little bit of an excuse to be like, oh, oops, can only stay an hour because otherwise I, I live next door and I could be like, okay, I'm going back home now. You know what I mean? In case it's, in case it's a lot to meet everybody by myself. So I feel good about these plans. I'm gonna get cute later in the afternoon so that I can just work, work, work this morning. Okay, I just put all the bedding for this bed into the wash so that will all be clean a bit later. But I'd like to start bringing in some of the furniture in here to see if it'll all fit. We have the same round side tables from my apartment, which I think since they're white will look so good against the grain. And in my mind, I thought about putting the boucle bench along this window. Hypothetically, this would be so cool in this room because the room's gonna be very dark and vintagey, but it's just not enough room to walk through the bed. I could push the bed further. I could try that. Center it more to where the sconces would make more sense. Let's try. There is room, but it doesn't feel, it feels a little cramped, you know what I mean? I'll leave it here and I'll get Jordy's opinion but I still need to remove this rug in here, but I think this table is just too far gone. Like, I think that it's not salvageable. It's gonna be a pain to figure out how to discard of it, because this is like over 100 pounds alone. But I do think this one, from the top at least, is pretty like unharmed. It's just the side that lost some pieces. So I think I'll just use just one of these here instead of both of them, which I loved how they nested, but it's not a huge space. So maybe it's fine to just have one anyways. And the last thing that I'm thinking through in terms of design now is that light that I got from my office, I feel like would also be so cool here. And I can't decide where I'd like it more. Let's see. Versus where I would hang it in my office would be here, which I think would be really cool. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's ooh, better in here. I think I just basically keep rearranging things, but at least the kitchen's clean again. I have a box of storage containers, a box of the remaining decor, and then I have a couple closet boxes in my closet and one office box in my office. But you know, from 35, that's huge progress. And look what just came, the rug topper to replace the blue one that we have decided we hate. <laughs> but I still can't decide if this will be better suited in the bedroom or in the upstairs den. Ooh, cool. I already like this more. I probably could by myself roll this out upstairs. I definitely cannot get it under our bed by myself. What time is it? I have time. I have an hour. Okay, let's do it. All right, Max, I think that concludes it for the day. I am literally so sweaty that I think I'm gonna shower again before my evening plans. Um, as I've mentioned, I'm going to a neighborhood party. I actually just met some neighbors walking by that are gonna go set up a projector, which is so cute. And then I'm going to the movie night, but they ask us to bring some sort of fall dish. And um, obviously I can't, I don't, it, cooking right now? No, so I'm gonna go shower go to the store, see if I can find any like pre-made fall dessert probably, neighborhood party, coffee shop, go to bed, uh, and then Jordy gets here at 8 a.m. tomorrow. He's in Chicago tonight, he flies in tomorrow, which means next vlog will finally be the decorating vlog. I'm gonna wait for him to like help me hang lights and photos and 
um, put rugs in our room and all sorts of things. All that to say, I hope this vlog wasn't so much of the same, um, but I feel like I've been incredibly productive down from 35 boxes to probably five boxes. All in, like, actually, 25 hours? Can't wait to see this house continue to come together. Oh wait, I have to tell you one last thing. I have to tell you one last thing before you go. Can I tell you? I think I've told y'all my vision for over here before. Look what came in the mail. It's a swing. I'm not gonna hang it because it has to go into a stud so it needs to be done by a professional. But right here. <laughs> I can't wait for that. Okay, I'm done with updates. I love y'all. Have the best rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next vlog when we decorate. So let's take all right, all right.